Gaurav Sehai, who is a vaccine development expert out of Portland, Oregon. Uh, Gaurav, really great to have you with us. You know, you've been actually very critical in the development of this type of technology. So when we talk about vaccinating the younger population, when you look at how vaccination rates have slowed and maybe some parents have concerns out there thinking that if their kids do contract the virus, they'll be asymptomatic, what would you tell them when they're considering whether to vaccinate their children? Yeah, uh, thank you so much for having me here. Um, you know, first of all, I'd like to say that these vaccines have been proven to be safe and effective. Even I have had the vaccine and I, you know, I'm a big proponent. My parents in India have had the vaccine. So this is the only way we can get out of uh, the, this pandemic. Uh, regarding children, um, there are clinical trials going on, and at this point, uh, the Pfizer and Moderna vaccine, especially the Pfizer vaccine, uh, may get uh, approval for 12 to 15-year-olds. So what parents need to realize is that there's a lot of uh, good clinical trial that goes along, and there's a lot of hesitancy in young people, for example, or oh, these were rushed or something, and that's not the case for you know, for 18 and above, there were significant cl clinical trials done, um, you know, in, in 2020 that gave us great results. And now that's been done for the age of 12 to 15. And when it, you know, and the clinical trial, I think, has also started for six, six and above um, kids. So uh, it, this will go through the FDA and will be shown to be effective and, um, you know, safe. Only then kids get uh, these injections. So uh, parents have to like recognize this, that once the F US FDA approves it through its rigorous process, uh, they should be rest, rest assured that uh, this is a safe vaccine um, for the kids. Um, and we have not seen much uh, among you know young people or kids at this point because schools were closed. So uh, one has to realize that the, once the schools start to open, you start to see a spike in infections as well. There are new variants. So uh, again, uh, this will go through and, and is currently going through the same rigorous clinical trial. Um, and once the results are there, and I, I think for 12 to 15 years old... Rob, if I could just interrupt for a second, it, it's very, sure. as you mentioned, the timing of this is very critical, and that's because obviously the school year is going to get underway. And, and it's interesting... Yep. States like where you're at in Oregon, they've actually seen more severe cases in children because of the coronavirus. That appears to have evolved early on from uh, the beginning of the pandemic where kids were largely asymptomatic. Is that attributable to the new var variants that have been spreading in states like yours? Uh, yeah, I mean, the new variants definitely are more infectious. And that's why you, even in the U.S., you at a certain point started to see um, you know, the, a slowdown and the decrease in the rate of infections. Um, but due to vaccinations, that steadied and it's going down. So, uh, as I said before, I think it's critical to have the, these clinical trials go on. Um, and then once the data is out there, FDA has been re really good and uh, basically being very transparent with all the vaccines, uh, with all the side effects. So, uh, I would really urge people once. Uh, you know, it's it's approved uh, for children above 12 to 15, get them vaccinated. For 18 and above, especially in Oregon, why we are seeing it, because there is some hesitancy in, in young people, as, you know, the president was also saying, uh, they can get infected, but also they can spread the virus. And, and we are seeing in places like uh, India, the vax, you know, um, uh, the spread even in, in younger uh, population and in, in people I know. So vaccines is the only way out. They have been safely tested. The FDA has been very transparent. So when it's your time, you know, folks should go in and get their shot of vaccine um, to, to get out of this pandemic. And just one more question, Gaurav, before we go, and we appreciate your expertise and insight on all of that. The president has an, a goal to get at least 70 percent of U.S. adults their first vaccine by the 4th of July. Is that doable, given the fact that we've seen vaccination rates slow? 
Yeah, I certainly hope so. And I think, uh, as I learned today but through news channels too, like, you know, the, the, uh, the U.S. government is actively finding ways to uh, get people uh, vaccinated um, through various channels, through getting vaccines to, um, you know, to, to pharmacies that or mobile places that, uh, you know, they're readily available. So um, I think uh, that's a reasonable uh, goal. Uh, but again, I would like to reiterate this, that this, at the end of the day, it's between common people like, like us to really tell our friends and family, look, I have got the vaccine. This is the only way out. There are a lot of anecdotal stories, you know, we listen to. And this story of the vaccine has been just a remarkable story of persistence of years of science, um, especially in the field of mRNA or other vaccines that have come through as well and a remarkable transparency on part of the FDA. Um, and so I, I think that goes, should give solace to people and, and they should go out and, and get vaccinated. So we should you know, tell people we, we know um, through your channel and through others that you know, this is a safe vaccine and young or old, we, we really need to get this so that we get out of the situation and it doesn't turn around. Gal Rob, say hi. We really appreciate you being with us on the program. Thank you.